What's up, Dean family? Dean Nation, Dean TV. Today, we doing a politician news breaking video. You feel me? This episode one of Demon News Nation. Shoot, it's the, I don't know what I'm going to call this, but it's going to be called Demon News. Basically, you see CNN, Fox, and all these other bullshit networks. It's going to be something different. It's only going to be fair, modest, and we talk about both parties, you feel me? And we're going to be fat checking both because it's bullshit part of bullshit going on both parties, and you feel me? But in this episode, we're going to be more mostly focus on Donald Trump, you feel me, and all the policies and all the laws that he had passed on his presidential week, why he was president, you feel me, and why he was, why the economy was flourishing more, and basically why Donald, why we as a country was moving more forward with forward with the economy, with growth, with entrepreneurship, and different people thriving in different areas on social media, um, businesses, you feel me? And if you're new to your channel, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, and this is going to be educational, and I got all the information right here to show y'all, you feel me? Dean family, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And shit, if Trump sees this video, shit, vote for Trump, Trump 2024, you feel me? Fuck Kalamala, fuck that liar. It's like, if you black and you vote for Kamala, something's literally wrong with you, you feel me? And I'm about to show you this shit, Nadine family. If you black and you vote for I'm showing y'all this clip, bro. Roll this clip now. Like I gotta say, subscribe to the channel. Roll to the middle and the Billy. Click the subscribe button. We're gonna be doing more shit like this. But right now, we're gonna get into this Kamala Harris because I'm black and all black people should know this shit before voting. You feel me? Before voting, watch this video. That can give folks a lift up. That's why, for example, I'm proposing the Lift Act. Give people who are making $100,000 or less as a family a tax credit, which will benefit and uplift 60% of black families who are in poverty. Now, think about that. Is that really going to help any black families? Are they going to drive inflation way up for the people just trying to make it? You feel me? Think about this, what she's saying. So by default, it affects black families, but there's not a particular policy for African Americans. She got setting policies to affect the black family, not improve the black family. Think about the words that's being used here, Dean family. She wants to affect the black family even more than what it already is at, you feel me? Think about this. If your family already in chaos and already out of order, do you want your family or whatever you're trying to build to be hell you feel me your home should be your peace and paradise it shouldn't be hell you feel me but you no know, if you look at the, the reality of who will benefit from certain policies when you take into account that they're not starting at the, at the same place and they're not stack they're not starting on equal footing it will directly benefit black children black families black homeowners because the disparities are so significant so if we focus on the specific issues that have resulted in the greatest disparities, and we understand that that's part of why we're doing it. Listen, the, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all society. That's you heard what she said. Any policy that benefit black people, black people will benefit all society. Now you will think. Why don't why they don't do no policy now? Kamala and Joe Biden, they've been in office for four years now. Why they haven't do nothing to support or help the black community? They just using this black black votes on um, be using black to manipulate people to get their votes and get their way. 
It's called propaganda, people. Don't fall for the Democrats. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Because what... You heard that. She, she already said what she wasn't going to do. She ain't going to pull up no policy that's going to benefit no black person. So if you black, amigos, Quavo, make the sign, y'all are a cell motherfucking house. Why y'all got people promoting and it, all these people who are endorsing Kamala Harris are sellouts. Y'all shouldn't listen to these people. Y'all should be worried of these people. Something is wrong with these people. They trying to manipulate and cause chaos to this world. Like, literally. Whatever benefit. And they supposed to be black. Like, they're all saying all black folks are color folks and our folks. You feel me? A black family will benefit that community and society as a whole in the country. Right? You heard what she said. A benefit a law and stuff like that will benefit the American, black American people. We can't have that stuff going on. We got to benefit and benefit others, not the black people. We ain't trying to make America great again. We trying to make American chaos. Think about the shit, what the Democrats doing to your family. And for the people, they said, oh, a Kamala fan train saying Kamala couldn't do that because she is vice president. Well, here's the president, Joe Biden, telling you right now. Kamala had just as much power as him. Joe Biden gave Kamala the power to do whatever the fuck he want when he got in office. So more to the story. This Joe Biden campaign is basically Harris campaign, my nigga. If y'all cool with being under Joe Biden another term, nigga, you stupid, nigga, you dumb. It's like, do people see how much inflation is? A honey month costs it 50 cent, my nigga. 50 cent, my nigga. That shit costs a dollar and 50, my nigga. And some stores probably two dollars, my nigga. At the corner store, my nigga. You gotta think about that shit, my nigga. When we was in Trump, Trump, Trump presidential, that shit was 50 cent, my nigga. The fuck? See, stick the ground beef like this used to be. Three three dollars and some three dollars and three fifty and some change. Now that shit like about six dollars and some shit. That shit is ridiculous. You feel me? Bread used to be like a dollar and something. Now that shit like three and four or five dollars. The shit is ridiculous. And people want to be like, oh, be a blinding to Harris. Be want to vote for Harris. Want to be on the high train and be a part of something and be a part of the slave master and listen to a master and vote for what what they what they tell them to do. Do that, but just remember the Republic Party was built from niggas, built for niggas, built because of niggas, and the Republican Party was. A niggas. Do y'all know about the Negro Republic? The fuck? The first ever. That's the, the Negro to be voting Republic. You feel me? That's why people now in the Democrat side, they cause they saying the Republican are radical, but it's because well the Democrats believe. If you see what the Democrats believe in now. All they beliefs, what they've been pushing, the laws they've been pushing. If y'all been studying them and been following, this is why I'm doing this. You can feel me as an episode, as a series to educate y'all on the presidential, presidential, the laws, and the Democrats and the Republicans. You feel me? On my lifetime, on through how long I've been here, so y'all can stay open and pay attention. Like the media is lying. They trying to not have people vote for Trump because they know Trump ain't part of the family, you feel me? The royal family, you feel me? If you know about the royal families, that's all I'm going to say, you feel me? It's like, how come every president was is related besides Trump? Let that make sense. Let that sink in. 
even though Obama was related to a president. <laughs> Think about that. This is what Joe Biden had to say about Kamala Harris. We get into it. Well, the single thing that I did that she couldn't do, and so I was able to delegate her responsibility on everything from foreign policy to domestic policy. Look, the one thing we have in common, she and I, two basic things that are different apart from some Democrats. Um, let me say that he, she had the same power as he did. So everything she talking about she could have done, did, that's third in the debates. Why haven't she did it? In the words, in, or in the words of Trump, why haven't you done it yet? Why haven't you done it yet? Uh, so look what he just said. To build a new middle class. Now you see what the immigrants are here for. The migrants, what the fuck the illegals are here for. And hopefully that helped y'all out. It's showing y'all like the Democrats don't fuck with us for real for real. Like they fuck with them. They don't fuck with America. Literally. You gotta think about this. They making America undeveloped. <clears throat> they making America like a third world country. And we not that. And right now, I'm about to tell y'all all the laws and right now. And about when Trump was in office, starting with number one, the HR 244 Act. It's uh, and this law is basically secure America information. Basically, you can't share. Uh, U.S. important U.S. information with other countries. That's basically what this law is. Honestly. And the H.R. 366 is basically a Korean American veteran. Basically a, a veteran of affordable check, you feel me? So, like, say you're a veteran and, like, you a Korean-American or you was born here in Korea or you from Korea, but you legally came here to America, you get a check for that if you was also a veteran, you feel me? So, Trump was looking out for the vet veterans, you feel me? And this law is for... Basically, foreign, well, for outsiders, basically coming out with weapons or weapons of mass destruction or harm or service, you feel me? And basically, if this person come into America, threaten America, that person can get executed with any means necessary, you feel me? And it doesn't matter what country they are, what continent they from, is that if they a threat to America, they gotta go. Simple. And I fuck with that law, whatever the case may be, because like, if we ain't fucking with you, don't come in over here fucking with us. You feel me? And the uh, HR 9289 law is for basically resources. You feel me? And basically, if y'all know about Frederick Douglass, you feel me? It's the Frederick Douglass Act, you feel me? It basically benefits black people. And, like, if you trying to get, like, a facility program or find something in, like, your area and try to re... What do you call it when you re-ventilate it and something clean it out? And like reopen it, relaunch it, and like honor into a friend, Frederick Douglass, you can do that because Trump did that shit, you feel me? And the uh, HR 282810 um, is the National Defense, you feel me? Y'all already know what that is National Defense. Basically, we on defense, our army is on, on go. Feel me? We ain't having none of that bullshit going on. You feel me? Simple. And Trump also had the North Korea Human Rights or uh, Reauthorization Act. These for the Korean people. 
you feel me? This at and he also got the African American, the African Growth and Opportunity Act and Millennium Challenge Act or Modernization Act, you feel me? This act helped black people or anybody who's a millennium or somebody who's trying to be an entrepreneur, going to college or what the case may be, trying to be a businessman. It helps you but you know what's that called? What helps you with your business and with a business loan, you feel me? And the FISA Amendment Act, you feel me? And the secret act of uh, the secret act of money going in the uh, and the economy growth at the protection act, the relief act, the VA mission act, and John C. McKean National Defense Authorization Act, you feel me? He did this act because so many people was dying in wars. And basically, he wanted more soldiers, but our soldiers be way more armed and not gullible. And like our president just have them going in this shit, just going in this shit, you feel me? He wanted to be strategic, you feel me? And I understand it because like, why send people over there and get them killed when you can prevent shit? Hold back, figure shit out. Like, hold up, you know what? I ain't gonna do that right there because if I do that, my people gonna get killed. And the people that I haven't sent over there yet, they gonna be kind of fidgety because they gonna they they gonna be kind of nervous because they lie. I'm gonna have they lies in my hand, and how can how will they feel? Well, my life, they lies in my hand, and well, how will they switch up on me? The fuck, you feel me? The president don't make like that shit at all, and that's what we in this shit now. You feel me? If y'all don't know, but that's this is just episode one. You feel me? Episode two, three, four, and etc. We going to, going to the moon. Democrats and Republican, etc. You feel me? As y'all see. Some people be like, oh, yeah, I fuck with Trump. I don't fuck with Trump. They say they don't fuck with Trump. And some people say Trump support, but don't be knowing none of the policy but Trump has to help people. It's like, honestly, do better. It's like, literally say one thing that this man put in place. It's like, y'all need to stop being verbally and dumb. Like, people say this man racist, but what's that? What's that? Uh, it's like the people need to pay attention to these acts and bills he put in place. Was that bill honestly that bill helped? Look at this veterans, military, it's like human service, it's like all these freaking laws he passed. He even played a path to save our seat act. And we need our seat saved. Honestly, if y'all know about water and shit and how they um recycle the water that we use, we need our water pure. We need our water clean. You feel me? And think about this prevention that these are actually good bills. It's like, do people actually look and read and go into shit? You feel me? Or they just be bullshitting themselves? Like, they say Trump don't don't care about these people, but he just had an emergency relief to help them niggas. And not to mention the most important thing that's going on now, right now in the USA, the most thing that's popular now he abolished human trafficking act and trafficking victims trafficking victim protection act so like if you're a victim of trafficking he had this act for you basically not traffic people and uh, abolish human trafficking cause right now we're trafficking at an all time high you feel me? And that's ridiculous. It's like, how come when Trump get out of office, traffic can go back up? You feel me? Think about this shit. 
then another to trafficking act again. Y'all see all these acts. You see the taxpayer first act. That's why a lot of people was getting those happy when that nigga Trump was in office. The Hong Kong Human Rights and Doc Democrat Act. Think about this shit. He did all this shit for America. And America don't understand how much he really did and cared for America and wanted just to get America back to to this peak. Now think about this. The corona. Remember, everybody was the lockdown and all that other stuff. And he did good with having people getting these benefits and having people with work so they could be able to live in this economy in this world. I fuck with Trump because he didn't he didn't end the people at all. And look, and with Trump, you see a promotion promoting research. You had actually had a chance to promote shit with Trump. Now you gotta watch what you say. And that's not fair at all. And these are all the basically laws that Trump passed. If y'all want to see the laws that Joe Biden passed, we can get to that. But first, before we get to that, we get into this fact checker trying to fact Trump when actually this nigga Trump was telling the truth. If y'all was watching the debate where this man was talking about the Haitian immigrants, not the Haitian people, the legal Haitians that's here. You want to talk about the legal Haitians that's here. I don't know why people take shit and run with it and just create a narrative that ain't there. That ain't it. Like the fuck. He's immigrants. Not Haitians. There's two different money motherfucker. I don't understand people be so dumbfounded when somebody say some shit and try to be so getting their feelings. But it's like, bro, why you trying to get your feelings for? There's no reason to get your feelings for. There's some real ass shit going on. And this is uh, what Trump was talking about. And I finna show y'all, you feel me? And when y'all see this, y'all be like, wow. Why did, why did he try to make Trump look like a lion on TV? But that's what they do, you feel me, Dean family? They fuck niggas. They bullshit. I like me has to come out from doing what I do on a daily yeah, basis to have fun. Because I see what's awesome. going on in these streets. And I see you guys just sitting up there in the comfy chairs and suits and like, and I'm getting out here every day, and I'm like broadcasting this, and you guys are just sitting up there and suits. Like, I, I really challenge you guys to get out here and do something. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into... Uh, they flipping cars in the middle of the street. And it's nothing but immigrants over there. And I don't even want to, like, seem like I'm coming down on the immigrants because it's the people that's bringing them down here. Because wherever they're at, that's what they're used to, bro. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and eating them like Donald Trump kind of like one of those boys and I guess you could say saying the pets and that's saying them the dog the cats the body the body the body the body Donald Trump's decision to you feel make me cause uh, some people ain't gonna be like fucking with it cause they don't think he doing that shit for votes just like how Kamala Harris tried to use that shit to basically make like the nigga was lying and like that video I just pulled up for y'all the nigga wasn't lying the nigga's telling the truth the telling the truth there's Haitians doing that shit well there's Haitian immigrants doing that shit you feel me not Haitians that was born in America not American Haitians not um legal Haitians, you feel me? The Haitians that got sins and don't know and know how to act. They ha them Haitians ain't doing that shit. Them Haitians that the uh, Joe Biden and them said who trying what they trying to make create a class for them niggas did that shit, you feel me? And y'all know if y'all didn't know Joe Biden and Kamala Harris got rid of a lot of Donald Trump agendas, aka laws that he already had set in play 
and some laws are still in effect now, even though it's getting overshadowed by all the other bullshit ass laws that they don't got benefiting people. You feel me, humans? You feel me? And I'm gonna show y'all now all the things that Trump and Kamala Harris revoked. You feel me? When they got in office. And it's crazy that this when America changed. And as Americans, we should be disappointed. You feel me? That we got these type of Democrats in office. You feel me? Like, shit. Democrats nowadays are fucking awful. I'm just saying. Shit, they run their everything right now. It's like, that's why your favorite... Your favorite content creator or influencer this is probably a Democrat, and y'all, you probably don't even know it. It's like you probably they probably comfortable with so much shit because they are Democrat and they gotta shut the fuck up because of the Me Too movement. You feel me? And that's what Kamala Harris is doing right now. If y'all know about the Me Too movement, it's basically was something that Barack Obama basically adores, you feel me? And basically, the Me Too movement is basically, you can say, like, I'm black, I'm white. You can basically claim whatever the fuck you is, and you better don't say nothing or judge somebody about that shit, because if you do, you can go to fucking jail. You feel me? Or you can get a fucking penalty of all the fuck. And the shit's crazy and weird because, like, you're basically taking away somebody's freedom of speech. And they've been trying, and the Democrats doing that slowly but surely with social media. Like, if y'all know, don't know about this, but Mark Zuckerberg said this about Facebook. You know, he's about, I think it's do about fake control of Facebook and social media, different social media platforms. He had to control shit about coronavirus and about different people because he couldn't make the information be even though the information is true, he had to make the information be change the information to fake information so the people be the people wouldn't follow or wake up to the knowledge that's being put Guess being brought to them at hand, you feel me? And I will show y'all that also. Now think about this: one of the richest man in America, in the fucking world, Mark fucking Zuckerberg, was threatened, was scared of the presidents and policies of the coronavirus bullshit that they said. But I'm gonna show y'all this shit, and I'm let y'all think give y'all your own opinion. Out the shit and show y'all they can't be trusted with this shit. You gotta have your eye, your third eye open. You feel me? You gotta open up your kundalini to the bullshit and what's real and what's not. You feel me? You gotta open your real eye to see the through the bullshit through your eyes because real eyes recognize real eyes. Trust. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all remember when I was like doing coronavirus, talking about coronavirus, educating y'all about it. And y'all remember when they was fucking flagging people video, taking shit down, doing all type of crazy shit. I got strike, block, claim, shit. Copyright, damn, took down, block. That shit ridiculous. That shit give me nightmares about the corona shit. That shit, but anyways, I finna show y'all and here it is what's about to go on. Y'all about to hear about what this anchor about to tell y'all and about how he, about how Mark Zuckerberg failed and how, how the Harris and Biden administration, y'all know what administration means? It means government. You feel me? If y'all didn't know, now you know. Administration means government, okay? They government is basically fucking us over. And that's why they say Trump is a threat to the democracy. Trump ain't a threat to democracy. Trump is a threat to the Democrats, you feel me? 
he a threat to the Democrats because basically, if y'all know what's going on with the Democratic Party, how they how they treating the LGBT community, and they give them all the benefits and go to giving the immigrants all the benefits, and it's like that shit ain't fair at all. It's like them motherfuckers don't deserve this shit. It's like y'all people in the LGBT community, y'all deserve your shit if you paying taxes, but at the same time. Like Trump say, I don't give a fuck who you fucking. I shouldn't have to feel no type of way. I feel threatened. I feel bothered by you. I feel like just because I don't like what you don't like, uh, it shouldn't make me feel some type of way. You shouldn't make me feel some type of way because I like what you like. You like what. I like what I like what I like and you like what you like. And we should be happy and go up all our ways. You feel me? That's what Democrats values are. They crunk on Christian values, you feel me? You can love who you want. You can be happy with who you want. But at the same time, if you open yourself up to these things then you shouldn't be feeling some type of way when somebody got uh, something to say or reaction or anything like that for something you did or caused or said or posted, you feel me? It's like everything is a cause and effect. Something doesn't just get caused or something doesn't get be affected by something just without being is it getting Without, without without something being caused to that effect, you feel me? It's like a seesaw. You see me? It's, it takes energy to create something, to make something, do something. You feel me? It's like science, if that makes sense. But like I said, the Democrats are fucked up, and some of y'all are probably like, you a liberal? You a Republican, a conservative, honestly, I'm neither. Some of y'all may say I'm a Republican because I'm going, I'm saying I'm to my roots, you feel me? But honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm about who's there and calling the bullshit out. Simple. And if they can get us to believe lies then they can believe they can make you believe anything remember that if they can make you believe lies they can make you believe anything you feel me so be cautious America and Americans because this election is very important not just for us all of us it's important for the next generation and the youth you feel me it's like, as if you're a Democrat and you're a parent, you need to think about things like this. Do you think giving your child free will and thinking they should be able to be whatever gender they want? Think about this. Your kid turn 12 or 13 and they say, Mom, I want to be a boy. Or mom, I want to be a girl. I think about this shit. You got a son, and he say that shit to you. You got a daughter, and they say that shit to you. And they be dead ass serious. And you won't be able to do shit and can't say shit because it'll be up to the child. You feel me? The Democrats giving the child more power than the fucking parent. So you as parents need to watch this shit. The Democrats lying to y'all about Project 2020 and having Trump but want to put Trump behind Project 2020 when they behind a lot of shit and the agendas of Project 2020. Dean family, if y'all get Medicare and Medicaid and what the fuck over the world shit in case they be, uh, I'm pretty sure if y'all don't know this by now, but if y'all get that shit, uh, 
to censor content related to COVID-19 during the pandemic. Aaron Katursky joins us now with details. Aaron, good morning. Good morning to you. Wit, for years, critics have taken aim at Facebook for silencing views that challenge the general consensus in the medical community, especially about the origin of COVID-19. Now Facebook's founder surprisingly says they're right. This morning, Meta Chief Mark Zuckerberg admitting he bowed to pressure from the Biden administration to censor content. The Facebook founder issuing a letter to the House Judiciary Committee that said senior administration officials pushed the social media platform to censor posts about COVID-19 and expressed a lot of frustration when the company resisted. Zuckerberg saying, I believe the government pressure was wrong, and I regret that we were not more outspoken about it, adding, I feel strongly that we should not compromise our content standards due to pressure from any administration in either direction, and we're ready to push back if something like this happens again. President Biden was asked about misinformation online in the summer of 2021. On COVID misinformation, what's your message to platforms like Facebook? They're killing people. I mean, they really, they all, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that's, and, they're, and they're killing people. Biden later walked back the comment, insisting he wasn't attacking Facebook. Overnight, the White House responded to Zuckerberg's letter. Our position has been clear and consistent. We believe tech companies and other private actors should take into account the effects their actions have on the American people while making independent choices about the information they present. Zuckerberg going on to express regret for demoting content related to corruption allegations against Hunter Biden ahead of the 2020 election, alleging the FBI warned information circulating online was a Russian disinformation operation. It's since been made clear that the reporting was not Russian disinformation, and in retrospect, we shouldn't have demoted the story. Zuckerberg went on to say the company has changed its policies and processes to make sure it doesn't happen again. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan celebrating the letter, calling it a the big win for free speech. Zuckerberg's letter. So, Dean family, how can you vote for somebody or believe for somebody or trust somebody or want somebody who will be the head person or run or be the face of America when they ain't truthful? They, they self. You feel me? They government, they administration ain't truthful for they to they so to us Americans. They lying to us. And it's fucked up cause they ain't feel I can show y'all a lot of shit about how shit like this about the COVID shit and how all this shit how I got strike, copyrighted, got banned, blackball, shadow ban, all this shit. And it's coming out, all this shit coming out now, and it's blowing in mind, because it's like, wow, I was right the whole entire fucking time, and these motherfuckers playing on my fucking money, and playing on my fucking channel, did some fucking bullshit, you feel me? Some fucking bullshit. Some goddamn bullshit. This is episode one of Politician with Dean. And shit, newsy, demon news, national shit. Mm. I guess I call it call it that, but what's you? But but at the end of the day, this the news. This your local, nationwide live news. You feel me? Uncensored, the way you like it, the way you want it, so you can understand the shit. You feel me? Simple. And I hope you guys like this. Subscribe to the channel if you want more shit like more videos like this. Leave a thumbs up, share the video, and clip your best part of the video and share it to with anybody on all social media. And, and if this helped people, educated people, you feel me, to like figure out and learn something about the candidates that's running for office that you didn't know about, you feel me. Hopefully is actually help people educate people learn people about that shit that actually gets going in Ohio about what Trump was talking about and not overlook that shit and mean that shit and take that shit as a joke you feel me that's what the Democrats love to do because that's what the Democrats are Democrats they are means you feel me they are bots they are NPCs these people are 
they want to be so fucking woke, but sound so fucking dumb. You feel me? These are these people. You feel me? And if you want these people, that's cool. It's love to you, but it's like, you need some holy fucking water, my nigga. Like, you need your brain exercise. The fuck? So, hope you guys like this DNA family, DNA nation. Uh, hope you just educated you guys on some laws that you didn't know and about the beneficial of the laws that was previously in uh, effect before the Biden Harris administration came to office and basically annihilated majority of all Trump laws and agenda they had place for all of us. You feel me? But like I said. Only good positive thing I can say about Obama is Obamacare, I guess, because that's the only thing that's still lingering around is Obamacare from 20, 2000. You that's the only thing carried around until now is Obamacare. So it's like whatever policy Obamacare is, it's like it should be easy to fix it, tweak it, to make it better. I don't know what they're doing, but it's like, the shit should be very easy. It should be very simple. Especially if they about their shit and about their numbers and about making America great again. You feel me? I'm about making America great again. It's like some of y'all might say I'm a Trump supporter, a Trump fan. What? Nah, nigga. I know the policy is what America needs. I'm for what, what America needs. Not what America wants. America, what America needs is Trump. What America wants is Kamala because the LGBTQ community and how she support them and how all they write she protecting you feel me. It's like and they gonna get more benefits when she's in office. Like right now uh, there's literally a law for people who's trans who if you taking what you call that uh it's something that enhanced, sexual enhanced, something that you want to be the other sex and it make you feel like the other sex. What I forgot what it's called, but if you know what it is, comment below and I thank you and I appreciate that. If you know what it is, thank you. It's like, it's not fair that trans people or trans women or a trans man, I don't know how to say it, but a woman can, a man could be in the woman league, but identifies it as a woman, but not fully a woman. Biological, that shit, you know what I mean. But yeah, they they participate in female sports, even though they already got the upper hand because they born a male. And all that genetically facts, we already know. It's like, people not dumb. It's like, you can't be dumb. Like, like honestly, it's common sense. Like honestly, y'all y'all not stupid, y'all not dumb. It's like women are women. It's like you can't. It's like, I don't understand why some people be trying to be offended for certain shit, or certain bullshit. It's like you are trans, okay? Or if you want to be called trans, then what do you want to be called? Cause you can't be called a woman because you're not a woman. You feel me? So it's like, I guess that him or her or they are them pronouns you got to use because you don't really know what to call them because it's like, it hurts your head because it's like, you say yes, sir, they may take that as offense. You may say yes, ma'am, they may take that as offense. So it's like, you won't be able to win. It's like, you got to find which what is a common ground, you feel me? But hopefully... A lot of people who are part of the LGBTQ community don't take shit as that. Take it like, okay, and try to educate people like, okay, um, I understand, like, you may not know what to call me, but I would like to be called this or your name, my name, you feel me, or a nickname, you feel me, or give them a nickname. It's like, it's all about respect at the end of the day, you feel me. It's like, it's not, it's no respect for women if a trans woman is competing in a woman's spirit, you feel me? 
are sharing a bathroom with a woman. Think about that. Think about this. That's not going to be fair. That's going to be unbalanced. That's going to be uncomfortable for women. And women got rights too. Right? <laughs> and women deserve privacy too. You feel me? Hope y'all like this and enjoy it. And I'm finna show y'all the stats and statistics now. Love you guys. I'm out. Mm. Like I was saying about Christian values, how the Christian book for how they believe in Christians, you feel me? Other Christian love, you feel me? Be empathetic, listen to your friends, thoughts, and ideas, trust, and respect others. That's the big one, the most important thing that people in this current day and age forget about respect, what respect is and trust is, and accept others of who they are. And support and stay with others in good time and bad. People lost what that is. They try to stick a time stick around only when the good and not the bad. You feel me? Congratulate others and enjoy their success. People don't know what that means no more. Compassion and share, being truthful, honest, forgiving, and forgive others for mistakes. People forget what these things is because they feel they get they get on a high pedal something they self so perfect and feel turn it that and they think of themselves a god. No, nigga, you a human. You got boundaries just like other anybody else, nigga. Just the law that the Biden and Harris passed uh, to make it legal for same sex marriage respectfully, all the other shit. And discrimination, so you can go to jail for these amount of years. One is eleven years to um for homosexual uh misbehavior or condition, whatever it's called. It. If you just being outright chaotic to a fucking LGBT community person, you feel me? And as you see, who is that president right there? That nigga, Obama. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, Obama. O-B-Z. Obama made this shit possible. You feel me? President Obama signed the report. Do y'all see that? Don't ask and don't tell. Signed the report. The don't ask, don't tell act. Y'all know about that don't ask, don't tell. And if y'all know about that when the don't ask, don't tell act was going around, a lot of bisexual, trans people, and queer people ended up and turned up dead because a lot of people didn't know what they was. They was finding out when they was finding out um, when it was about to have when they was about to have sex when. Uh, they figure out that they wasn't who they supposed to be, and that person of dying and a fight or where the kids they be. It's like this is all this all this all started with him because of this law that he put. Don't ask, don't tell. That at don't ask, don't tell law caused a lot of death on both sides of the spectrum white and black and all other races little do anyone care or even think about talking about it 